Other news tonight, the search is continuing for two men suspected of breaking into a home on Congress Avenue. Two RIT students were home at the time, but they were able to scare off the intruders with a semi-automatic rifle. 13 Wham's Evan White, live at the Rochester Public Safety Building now with this story, Evan. Don, the reality of all this is still settling in for these young men. They're glad to be alive, but don't think that would have been the case without the gun. Yeah, I haven't slept very much in the last couple of days. Christopher Boyce can't sleep because he's been thinking about what happened in his apartment on Tuesday morning. Uh, they entered in through this window. Boyce uh, says that two armed men broke through the basement time. window. They must have just fake tap to lure me downstairs like it was a knock on the door. And he came downstairs and saw a gun trained on him. Just seeing two people unannounced in my house, that was the shock factor. I heard one scream from him, and I knew it wasn't like a, it wasn't like a, I stepped on a piece of glass kind of scream. It was like some, something primal, I guess. His roommate, Raymond, who asked us to omit his last name, began unlocking his rifle. You know, being a good gun owner, everything was locked. He had little time as one of the armed men approached his door. By the time I had, I had it out and ready, uh, one, of the, one of the men came at my door, slowly opened it, saw that there was a barrel on the other side, and from there, backed out. At that point, the gun was unloaded. No shots were fired, and the intruders left. It was just afterwards where it just all hit me, and it was like, you know, I could have died, I could have killed somebody. It was like, it all, it all set in. His legally owned rifle is an AR-15, used for sport. That was until Tuesday when it was needed for more. Without that gun that day, things could have went differently. I'm happy you saved my life. Now, police say that Raymond's gun was legally used. At this point, police believe the two people that entered that home had BB guns on them, and police have not arrested anybody yet regarding this incident. If you have any information, you're asked to contact Crime Stoppers at 423-9300. Reporting live in Rochester, Evan White, 13 Wham News.